Well, hi everyone. <laughs> I'm Vicki and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm so glad to have you here because I'm working on a special recipe. Yes, so much fun. The Southern Brothers mushrooms sent me home with a lot of oyster mushrooms. And I'm going to show you how to prepare them and how to use them in a couple of dishes. I used them for breakfast in a um, mushroom scramble. And they were awesome with sliced ham and eggs and mushrooms together. Wow. Talk about keto, low carb. This is, these mushrooms are so full of vitamins and minerals and they're low in carbs and they can substitute as noodles. And today we're doing a scampi and it's my scampi um, on a bed of beautiful mushrooms. Now I'm going to show you in a little bit how to garnish this. But first, let's talk about how I made it. Oh, how do y'all like my t-shirt? Isn't this cool? One of my friends, Teresa, this is a picture of her. And this is a friend, Dom. And this is me. And we went to a conference together for Pampered Chef and our sweet friend made us these t-shirts and I love wearing mine. You know, our team is not just a team, it's a family. And we have so much fun together and we and keeping up with each other and supporting each other. So if you want to join my team, let me know. Remember, everything you see me using is Pampered Chef, as always, and you can find a link at, in the description. So let's go back to our scampi on a bed of oyster mushrooms. And this is how I do it. So let's talk about cleaning the oyster mushroom. What I do is at first I take the configuration and cut the bottom off of it. Bottom's a little tough anyway and I'm wanting them to look like this strips. I take a silicone brush and brush them clean if I see any grit or any sand or anything on them. And sometimes I'll take the edges off if it looks rough. Um, but I'll clean them off real good. going to take them and strip them. Watch. And I go from the bottom. Some people go from the top, but I go from the bottom. Now, if your mushrooms are real dirty, um, if you feel like they need washing, then you would rinse this whole thing in cold water and rinse them really quick and pat them dry. You don't want the moisture to absorb, but I'm just taking them and stripping them. Now when I saute these, now you can leave them whole and have a pretty bloom. These happen to be a little rough. They um, were split on the ends so they're really not pretty. So I'm going to make a bed of mushroom noodles. I'm going to stir fry them and maybe put them over scampi. Let's see what all I make. Um, I did a breakfast dish this morning and I'll post that picture. I did a oyster mushroom scramble, scrambled eggs. And it was so good. Okay, now I have all of the mushrooms ready. And these were really clean, so I'm not having to go back and wash them again. I 
Okay, we'll start by getting the oil or butter. You can use butter, you can use bacon grease. But what we're going to do is stir fry real quick the mushrooms. And you don't want them to get soggy. So while that's heating up, I'm going to throw some green onions in. I love this brilliant frying pan. It's contoured like a wok and it holds a lot of things. Now sometimes when I'm doing this I'll use a soy sauce to kind of finish it off. But today I'm going to be using a toasted sesame seed oil. Just a few drops. Now this is very strong and you don't need to use a lot of it. Alright. You can see the oil is kind of searing the green onions. Just throw a few more green onions in there. I want it to look pretty too. Getting good and hot. So we're going to throw in our mushrooms. And I'm just going to throw two handfuls. This is about enough for probably four people. Salt it. And a little pepper. Now, I like cracked pepper best. Fresh pepper, you can smell the difference. And I'm going to throw in a little Georgia Olive Arms olive oil. And we are just going to flip it. Make sure the oil and the butter coat your mushrooms well. Like I said, we do not want these mushrooms to be soggy. We want the sauce to be the moisture part of this dish. and cook for a second and then I'll flip them again. It doesn't take but a couple of minutes to cook these. ahead and put a couple drops of the sesame seed oil. And again, you can use um, you can use maybe some rags, aminos, or you can use some soy sauce. Just need a little bit more. playing with my microgreens and putting them in things and this one's actually a carrot microgreen and I'm just going to take some and just put a little bit in there for color and for taste and for nutrition and I'll also use it to garnish the top of the stampy this is very fine like I said, this one's carrot. I can't get my hands on carrot very often. I like to use red cabbage and in seafood a lot of times I like to use sunflower seeds. Um, sunflower microgreens. I'm going to put a napkin on the plate and absorb a little bit of the oil.
Okay. The brilliance pans are wonderful on um, the induction stove tops, on any kind of stove top, but especially the induction. Um, that and stainless steel ones are the best ones to use on an induction. Here's my noodles, actually mushrooms. Looks like noodles, doesn't it? Wow. And it tastes really good. So I'll come back and show you the stamping. Okay. So, we've got the butter warming up and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in one sweet pepper. Like I said, this is not your traditional scampi. This is my scampi. About a half a cup of green onions. And we're going to let that start searing. And then we'll add the shrimp. Shrimp cooks really fast. And we don't want to add the garlic in yet. Because garlic will burn. So, we want to get this softened up. And then we'll start with the other. I'll be back in a minute. See how it's sizzling? We've got to put in the shrimp and we've already patted them dry. And we're going to throw the garlic in at the same time. traditional scampi. This is mine. And yes, I do leave the tails on the shrimp. They're cleaned and deveined, but I left the tails on them. my garlic there's olive oil in the bottom of the um, container and I just pour it in when I store it so it has the, that olive oil has the taste of garlic in it as well okay we don't want to overcook <laughs> so check this out
here are our beautiful mushrooms. And we're going to put the scampi right on top. Ready? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back and show you how to garnish it. Okay, so now you've seen how I did it. Let's finish garnishing it and see what it tastes like. I love my farmer's market and I get steel magnolia market gardens microgreens and she has all kinds probably the red cabbage is my favorite all-purpose but this one is actually carrot so I wanted to try it and play with it a little bit um, it's not one of your usual ones that you can find a lot of but I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it over the top. You don't have to overwhelm it. Microgreens are superfoods. Unfortunately, I can't eat green leafy vegetables anymore as much as I love them. So, but I can eat microgreens. Isn't that crazy? Now, sometimes I would put a little toasted sesame seeds on the top of the scampi. Um, this time I'm going to put just a little bit of fresh grated parm. This was a really good aged parm and I grated it myself. Not one of those boxes, but you can use that. That's what you have. So, and we have the toast with the roasted garlic on the top. Now, check it out. <laughs> Would you like to join me for supper? As always, give someone your beautiful smile today. Makes you feel good inside and you know what? You just could make somebody else's day. So come back to see me often. Please share my videos. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching me from and if you cook my dish. Get some inspiration about different mushrooms. I'm gonna be posting some other ones. I'm on post. I like to make a lion, use lion's mane in my clam chowder or oyster chowder, either one. And I need to do a video on that and show you how to do that. But I roast my lion's mane mushrooms and I leave them in the refrigerator ready to use for different things. And I use them in place of um, potatoes because you know I cook keto low carb most of the time and this is an amazing keto low carb dish. The noodles are mushrooms not noodles so it's not so high in carbs and it's really good for you. Alright come back to see me soon. Bye! Mmm Excuse me. <laughs> There's no words. It's so good. I'm going to call a friend to come try it. So, see you later. Bye again. So, I thoroughly enjoyed creating these four dishes from these oyster mushrooms. Next time, I'm going to try ricing them. Check back soon.